Yo, 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 yo. I know for a fact that you guys missed my intros. Crazy stuff, right? Really big brain. All I could tell you, bro. Before I forget, before I forget, shout out to the boy Solo Hunter because, bro, he was trying to flex on me for like five weeks straight, just telling me, bro, do not forget to do this. Because he had the top comment on this video, on, on this song, on this chapter, like a few weeks ago. If I, uh, if I remember, I will edit it in, I guess. Because <laughs> he was really flex on me to like just show it. So like he had, he had top comment for like a few weeks. It's not there anymore, unfortunately. I checked before I started the video, but hey, you know, he had it. He had it. He, he used to have it, so that's all that matters. But either either way, let's hop right into this chapter. If I remember correctly, last time uh, it was Valerie, some some shit with Valerie and freaking Remy and stuff. They were at like the freaking restaurant, or that was the week before. I really don't remember correctly, but it doesn't really matter now, does it? Because this is this week, and that was last two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yes, I, bro, bro, I literally woke up today thinking it was like Friday. Well, not really, because like I took naps during the day. And I was like, bro, is it Friday? Because <laughs> one of my favorite, one of my art, my favorite artists was like, bro, I'm going to drop something on Friday. And he dropped the trailer today. I'm like, bro, is it Friday? Where's the full song? And I was like, I was being stupid as shit for a second. And then I remember now it's actually Wednesday. <laughs> Perhaps you should reassess your priorities. Focus on yourself and on building your own resume. Don't allow yourself to be distracted by all those noises around, by all the noise around you. Arlo really, bro, Arlo really like progresses as a character and then, then digresses and doesn't make any freaking sense sometimes. Am I distracted? Am I really just wasting my time? Bro, it's only wasting time if, if like you don't accomplish anything from doing it. In this case, you're obviously fucking accomplishing something apparently anyway. Even though, Tell your aunt, you know, typical high tier status bullshit. They don't really give a shit what happens to the lower tiers. So. Yes, class. Let's out. Wait, what? Class let us out early. I'm safe house, bro. Imagine getting out of class early and they're running to <laughs> running to go somewhere else in the school. That's the goofiest shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. Bro, when I was back in high school, bro, if I was getting out of class early, uh, what's it called? Depending on the period, of course, because like you know, I don't always, uh, I didn't always cut class or cut school. Bro, if I got out, it, depending on the class, bro, I would leave and I would go to the gym, play basketball. <laughs> or I would go to the park, play basketball. I would go home, play Pokemon. I would do something, but I was definitely not going to stay at school. That's what I got to tell you because, you know, bro, who gives a shit, right? Especially my senior year. My senior year, I would embrace you with the cutting class. It was a different story. I was, it was different, bro, honestly. I think you should leave. Why? You don't own the place, huh? Nobody's watching. Who's the supervisor for this block? This is the safe house. Everyone's allowed in here. Not for people like you, though. Why he look like that? <laughs> Bro, you know what he looks like? He looks like a, um... He looks like a green-haired Arlo with, uh... With, what's her name? Uh, what's that chick's name? The chick that, Ar that uh, that John... Oh, I was about to say that John beat up at, uh... At freaking, uh... You know, where they, where they do the turf wars. I forgot what her damn name was. Bro, that's what she looks, he looks like. He looks like he has that girl's face, but, um... He has Arlo's hair... But it's green, I guess. I don't know. I'm making a horrible. Con I'm making a horrible similarity. <laughs> but bro, that's what it looks like. It's just goofy as shit to me, bro. Spinach head ass looking ass boy. Oh yeah. And what's wrong with the people like me? <laughs> you, you really you don't want to go there, bro. Let's not even start. Let's not even start. You know. Okay, let's settle down. Can someone please explain what's going on here? Uh, this kid thinks he can kick me out. Why are you calling him? A All right, man. This person's like me, bro calling people kids and shit and now she's trying to steal uh she's trying to steal cecile's drip with the freaking airing and shit bro i should smack that shit out your air bro well i don't think you deserve to be here and why is that because you punched me last week for no reason and i consider you a threat to this club bro this looks like a little brother and a big sister fighting on god whoop de doo hey hey shh everyone i know we're all we all have our differences but a fact of the matter is, the safe house isn't gonna work if we don't give all if we don't all give a little. Not everyone you see is gonna be like someone you like. But regardless, everyone has a right to have a shot in here. Remember Zeke? You didn't give him a shot. Nah, no, I'm joking. I'm <laughs> chill. We don't all have to get along perfectly, but let's at least try to respect each other's space, okay? But what if she has her fun here and then decides to target me outside? Bro, that sounds such that sounds bro, that sounds like some really lewd shit you just said, but I get what you're trying to say. <laughs> huh? Look, I'm gonna give everyone the benefit of the doubt. I assume that if you're here, it's because you've had enough of the violence outside. Bro, they're the ones contributing to it. 
everybody in here is like they're just like oh man bro i'm tired of all the fucking violence but they were the one contributing to it in the first place all of a sudden it gets turned on them now everybody want to freaking duck and hide bro everybody gangster till they finally slide on your block uh you know i've said that enough times i'm not trying to freaking rant about it but i'm just trying to get it through everybody's head like golly bro people really give a shit safe house members who target other students once they step outside will be contributing to the same environment they're trying to avoid what the fuck okay isn't that counterproductive if the school weren't so chaotic then the safe house wouldn't need to exist in the first place hmm arlo well hello to you too why don't you supervise today you know we need someone to be watching the club at all times so the fights don't break out break out i walked in on an argument oh yeah right sorry slipped my mind slipped your mind how it's pretty simple bro somebody forgot to put out a wet floor sign you never forget this kind of stuff Oh, is everything okay? Obviously shit is not okay because this is the same guy who's been zoning out for the past few weeks ever since he lost his king title that he so so supposedly claims that he doesn't give a shit about which he definitely does but you know let's let's continue hey is it really worth it to you? huh? instead of pouring all your energy into a club you could just be focusing on yourself this doesn't feel like a waste of time? no why would it be a waste of time? If it's something I want to do. Hey, okay, that's something I can agree with. That's something I can agree with. If you like doing something, obviously it's not a waste of time to you anyway. Well, that's one way to look at it. Bro, Arlo's really acting like a goofy ass guy right now, bro. He's really like, man. If if I don't think it's uh if I don't think it's useful, then it's probably that it's probably freaking stupid and it's like not worth doing. In this case, bro, Arlo's head is just fucked up from his aunt. Because, like, bro, this is the thing about young kids. I'm not even trying to, like, it's not like I'm not fucking young either. But this is the thing, bro. Being so impressionable, you listen to those who you grew up with or older than you. Because you think they have so much extra wisdom on top of you. Especially when, like, you know, they were a big factor in your life. And in Arlo's case, apparently he looked up to his aunt or whatever. I don't know. I don't care. But, yes, he's obviously being affected by it. Yesterday, you seem still, you seem pretty eager to help out. Bro, he's lost, he's lost, um, what's it called? He's lost sight of what he was trying to do with helping his friends. And now he's like, man, what should I be doing? But this is the problem, bro. He's not doing anything different than when he was king. Because when he was king, what the hell was he doing different besides obviously doing his king shit? And then when John pulled up on him, nothing has changed. Like literally nothing has changed. I don't know what's good with him. He's being goofy as shit. Uh, what's with the sudden change of heart? Was it something you and your aunt spoke about? Obviously, bro. You saw that. Sh you saw that look in his eye, bro. That d these dashes on the left on his um next to his left eye, they obviously mean something. Hmm. No, I just been thinking about it on my own time. Why bring up my aunt out of nowhere? Obviously, cause she got freaking beef with your with your aunt, bro. What is it that you have against her? Because that she's Valerie. That Valerie's um. That Valerie's Vulcan. You're not finna tell me that these guys are not the same person, right? You trying to tell me, bro? They look exactly the same. If you were to tell me you would put them right in front of each other, I mean, my bad. If you were to look in front of a mirror and you were to see this person, you trying to tell me these are not the same people? All right, bro. You need my glasses more than I do. But besides the point, bro. This is what this is what I was saying. I said this a few weeks back too. I was like, bro, Ember, they have the ability to take away abilities and the ability to uh, amplify them. Why wouldn't they have the ability to give a temporary one, right? Because I do think Arlo is telling the truth that she does have a variation of his ability. But obviously, I don't think she would be freaking stupid enough to show that shit in public. Uh, there's still a chance that she was the one who killed Rey. <sighs> it's nothing. Never mind then. Wait, isn't this the same guy who was complaining about the bullshit that John was doing too? And now look at him. He's like, oh my god, I think this is a waste of time. Maybe he should just do what he wants. Of course, he's just falling right back into the line with the whole hierarchy bullshit. Sorry, I didn't mean to come off that way. But uh, if you got your own plans, I can find someone else to take over for you at the club. Yeah. Maybe that'd be best for now. <clears throat> I hope the audio comes out good. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you guys have made it this far into the video, right now is a really good time to subscribe, bro. Because, like, bro, you made it this far for a freaking reason, right? I, this is not no just goddamn story time. But, yeah. You could always just unsubscribe later if you really don't fucking like my shit, so, you know, subscribe, right? Whilst in dormitory. Bro, what is this guy's freaking name again? I forgot what his damn name was, bro. I'm not even gonna check it out because I don't want to. 
ability. Oh, I've seen this shit. I've seen this shit. Somebody posted a picture of this in like a chat that I was in. I don't remember if it was my chat or what. I think it was my chat, but I don't remember exactly. Uh, level 8. Okay, right here, 6.5. Oh, yeah, I remember talking about this goofy shit. 6.2. Um, yeah, for the most part, a few of these levels are accurate. Like, uh, like let's see. Zeke, accurate. Aizen, accurate. Blight, not accurate because it's actually a 5 now. And we are 100% uh, sure of this because it's showed. Uh, Cecile, about accurate. About, anyway. Remy, 5.8. Yes, she is a 5.8 the last time I checked. Arlo, 6.3 the last time I checked. Not so sure about the 6.5 part, but yes. Aura related, 6.5%. I mean, 6.5 plus. All right, everybody's gonna get their freaking panties in a twist after they see these freaking levels. You're like, oh my god, bro. Seraphine is 100% stronger than John. It shows it right here. But if you guys look fucking closely, because, you know, you guys are so quick to judge, he's looking at, a, he's looking at his own computer. And what do you draw from that conclusion? This is obviously information that's been gathered by somebody else. So these are like what the numbers are around or if anything he's actually the one who gathered it so yeah john is actually more than likely an S, like at least he's obviously been shown to be a seven so but <coughs> my bad my fucking throat dry shit let me take a sip of this water <sighs> but like i was saying I might put a card somewhere here just to show you guys the video that I was talking about. In one of my videos, I was talking about how John is more than likely an 8 just due to the fact that he can hold more abilities now. And when he was a 7, he was only able to hold 3. And what was it? Ever since he turned a 5, he was like, that's his passive sensing abilities and shit. And then he started being able to hold 1, then, I mean, holding 2, then 3, then like obviously now 4. So these, not, these are just freaking estimations that he's probably built himself, if anything. That's why he's looking at it on his computer, unless it's somebody else's information. It's not Uchan's own uh, hierarchy built, because, like, you know, why would she put it there when she could just put it in the middle of the freaking chapter or somewhere else, like, you know, at the, like at the end, like, like she used to do. Private number. Ooh, ooh. Obviously, he's gathering information. Bro, what the fuck was this guy's name again? I'm still trying to remember. <laughs> Good afternoon, Walston. Why are you calling his name? All right, whatever, bro. New priority, keep a close eye on target 93. Maintain cover and do not expose yourself. When possible, deliver the following message. He's probably talking about Seraphine, if I'm being honest. Delivering messages and shit? Maybe. Understood. So now, we obviously see that this man is sus. Yes, we have found the imposter. I ain't talking among us. None of that goofy shit. But yes, sir. Yes, sir. Obviously, as you can see, I've said obviously so much. But yeah, <laughs> he's undercover. He's probably doing some crazy shit. He's probably working for Ember, if not somebody else. But either way, he's just definitely working for some freaking organization. So he's definitely uh he's definitely doing the dirty work. So Bro, honestly, if I had to make a prediction, they're probably talking about Seraphina, if not John, but I think it's more than likely Seraphina. Because something to do with delivering a message. Because they tried to kidnap her. What I'm thinking, what I'm assuming is do you want your he's gonna be like do you want your ability back or some bullshit and then like she's gonna jump pounce on the opportunity or some shit like that but either way i hope you guys enjoyed this this was a pretty slow chapter nothing really happened until the end of course it was pretty like average i guess five to six around there because that's average so oh wait another thing a lot of people have been falling into the hard the, the freaking thing about saying that john is a freaking big a, a john is a villain or some goof shit i don't know he's the antagonist but people are stupid as shit so they don't realize what the fuck a real antagonist is because john is the protagonist and if you didn't know the antagonist and the protagonist can't be the same fucking person you can literally check out the google definition and it'll tell you you can even type the same question can the can the protagonist be the antagonist no that's not true because the person who's the antagonist they oppose the protagonist so you get what i'm saying i'm not trying to freaking confuse you but let me give you a freaking example if you watch death note light yagami is the main character and he is kira and the opposition as in the antagonist man fuck the ops though but still the antagonist is in his case would be l the person trying to find out his identity and prove that he is indeed kira you get what i'm saying there we go <laughs> yeah antagonist and protagonist don't really mean good and bad it's just like perspective and shit but yeah john is the protagonist this is his story glad we got that out of the way but either and all either way hopefully you guys enjoyed this do not forget to like and subscribe comment down below check out the rest of my videos check out the beat the dis discord my patreon subscribe peace out